Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Darian. If you're new here, this is just gonna be like a casual chat, writing update, uh, June plans, June writing goals, that sort of thing. Um, I didn't really have an idea for a video and I just wanted to film one. Um, so I figured since tomorrow is June 1st that this would be a good way to kick off the month. A good way to kick off the month. So, um, I'm not gonna edit this probably. And yeah, I hope that is uh, okay with you. Um, so the last writing update I did was back in April, maybe? Um, so it's been a while since I've done like any sort of like writing vlog. Um, and in that writing vlog, I was struggling with getting into act two. Um, but I am happy to report that I have now gotten in the weeds of act two. I know how the trials are going to take place. I know the mechanics of the magic system and how that's going to work and how that's going to work with my main character. Um, I've done some character development with some of the side characters and all of that has been so much fun. The world building that I've been able to do the last couple of weeks has really just made this world feel like so special to me um and I really hope that other people will get to experience it someday um because I love it so much um so I'm at about 15,000 words right now which is technically like the halfway point for my total word count I was hoping that the finished zero draft of this would be 30,000 words um but I haven't even gotten into writing the trials yet, so I don't know if that means that I have just wasted time writing scenes that don't matter, um, which I do know that there are some scenes that are going to get scrapped or need to be completely rewritten um, during the next phase of drafting uh, this story, but um, I'm not trying to I'm trying not to worry about like word count and plot beats and that sort of thing. This is just the zero draft. Um, this is just me telling myself the story basically and um, working out some of the world building kinks. Um, so yeah, I wanted to grab really quick. Uh, the two books that I read this month, which are Witchlings and A Magic Steeped in Poison. And like, can we just give some cover appreciation to both of these? Like, anyways, um, Witchlings is pretty much like uh, what I would say is my like goal comp title to the book that I'm currently working on. Um, and that's part of the reason why I wanted to read this one to kind of just like see how the world building was and see how characters are developed in the world and stuff. So there are a lot of differences, but this was very inspiring and it's just like a great story. Like I really want everyone to read this. Um, this made me feel a lot of magic that has been missing in my life recently um, due to various circumstances um but yeah definitely pick up witchlings i loved this book and it was very very inspiring for me and i will probably read it multiple times while i am writing this witchy book um and then the other book that i read this month was a magic steeped in poison and this book is just i don't even know what to say about this um there's a slow burn romance but it's not the main plot there's female relationships and female friendships there's magic competitions there's tea <laughs> um, this is like the definition of a cozy read um and it is a duology with the second installment coming out in august i think um and yeah i loved reading this um the prose is just so beautifully written um that it physically hurt me at times so 
that's what I read this month um along with my writing update I guess I kind of like went off the rails there um, so back to the writing um I really am focusing on getting through act two and I am at the point where I am ready to write the first trial uh that my main character is going to have to go through um and that is very exciting. My mother-in-law is actually coming in this weekend, so I'm hoping that in June I will be able to get a lot of writing done and that I will have this zero draft done by uh, the end of the month. Um, so that is my goal. I want to have the zero draft of the Legacy Project done by the end of June. I would love to have it done a little bit before June because for Camp Nano July, I would like to work on a different project um, just to give myself some time to let the first draft, the zero draft of this book like percolate. Um, so I would like to start setting up my next project that I would like to work on, um, which will probably be my NaNoWriMo project for this month. Um, so that's what I'd like to do in July. So before we get to July, I need to finish this book. Um, so I think it's totally doable. We're at 15,000 words right now. We're getting into the trials, um, which means I'm about like halfway through act two. And I think that these trials are gonna take place pretty much the rest of act two and then the beginning of act three, um, because the last trial is kind of the climax. Um, or wrapped up in the climax. So I think it's definitely doable. I am not writing every day. Um, I have just realized that writing every day outside of like NaNoWriMo doesn't really work for me, um, especially with like my workload and um, having two kids. But uh, I'm challenging myself to write a little bit more consistently this month because I really want to get this book done because I really want to work on another project. So that's pretty much my goals for the month and my writing update. Um, I am probably going to read, I don't know what I'm going to read this month. Um, I had Iron Widow on my list to read this month, uh, and I didn't get to it. So I'll probably start the month with that maybe, but there's also like a new contemporary YA that came out that I'm hearing a lot of really good things about. So I'm thinking about scooping that up on my Kindle. Uh, I think it's called uh mistakes we made the mistakes we made or mistakes were made or something like that um i'm filming on my phone so i can't look it up so i apologize i'll put it in the comments uh once i figure out what the title is so i think i'm gonna read that because i have some ebook gift cards to use um and I've heard really, really good things about it. And I've heard a lot of people talking about it. So kind of want to jump on that bandwagon. And I also picked up a bunch of manga uh, recently. I guess I could do a little manga haul. Oh. So the three mangas that I picked up recently are Prince Freya. Um, and this is about a girl who uh, looks a lot like a prince and, uh, he is dying and they basically, uh, get her to pretend to be the prince. Um, I've heard a lot of really good things about this one. And then this is a sign of affection, um, which it says Yuki is a college student who's into friends and fashion. She's also deaf. A chance meeting on a train leads to a serious crush, but can it grow into something more? So um, I really liked that this had some disability representation in it, uh, which I feel like is not, is like kind of rare for manga, um, at least the manga that I've read. Um, so it's just a good old fashioned shoujo manga um i will link the channel below that i've been getting all my manga recs from um so that's where all of these came from and then this last one is called perfect world um and it basically is about someone reuniting with 
uh, their crush and in the time that they've been apart their crush has um, gone through a debilitating injury that's left him in a wheelchair um, so I'm really really excited to read this um, that's all I have to say about that although it was at the very tippy top shelf of my Barnes & Noble which <laughs> I have thoughts about um, so yeah I'm planning on diving into those maybe I'll do like a manga readathon this month um, like a 24 hour reading vlog or something uh, let me know if you want to see that and I'm so tired so I am going to go take a nap because I didn't sleep good last night um I yeah just still recovering from our vacation um so uh that's pretty much it and then the only other really update I have is that I uh went to the dermatologist finally and I have been diagnosed with rosacea which is what's causing my acne and also psoriatic arthritis so I will be starting lots of medication this week so hopefully <laughs> keep your fingers crossed for me that that all goes well and that I don't have any weird reactions or anything like that um the injections for the arthritis uh, are gonna help my hand issues a lot so hopefully that means I'll be able to write longer uh and more frequently um and maybe even with some paper and pen uh every once in a while to get those ideas going so yeah let me know what your plans are for the month uh let me know what you're working on in the comments um, I love hearing about your guys' projects as well. Uh, let me know what you're reading. Let me know what you read this month. Um, all the good things. I'm sorry if you can hear the dogs. Like I said, it's just a casual video. I'm not even going to bother editing it. So I will see you guys soon.